Stony Brook men's basketball suffered a crushing defeat at home on Saturday, losing to Vermont 57-48 despite holding a 17-point lead in the second half. The Seawolves' defense was impeccable out of the gates, holding the Catamounts to just 1-13 of 13 shooting to start and drawing 5 fouls midway through the first half. Vermont finished the half with just 15 points on 14.8% shooting from the field. On the offensive end, Stony Brook was not quite as stellar, shooting just 31.6% from the field in the opening half. Jamil Warney scored 8 points, but on 4 of 14 shooting. SBU extended their 14-point halftime lead to 17, 5 minutes into the second half, when Vermont suddenly seized the momentum. The Catamounts closed the game on a massive 36-10 run at the heels of a tougher defense and scoring outbursts from Brandon Hatton and Ethan O'Day. The Seawolves were still in position to make a crunch time push, but down 3 with under 60 seconds to play, Vermont found Hatton in the corner for a dagger 3 off a pick and pop play in the middle of the floor. The Catamounts iced their free throws to seal the victory. Carson Purifoy finished with 15 points, Warney added 14 of his own, but no other Seawolf scored over 4. Stony Brook allowed Vermont to shoot a scorching 72% from the field in the second half. Stony Brook now looks to get back in the win column on Wednesday when they take on UMBC.